Halloween has begun here at the Magic Kingdom, and while there isn't going to be a party, we still got decorations, characters, treats, and more. This is actually my first time back to Magic Kingdom since March. I haven't seen the new paint job yet. It is really amazing. I, I like the pink, and of course I love the Halloween decorations. That's the most important, you know, part of the, the fall season here on Main Street. <laughs> All right, so what do we have for the fall season? Because we don't have a party, so just, just can you go into a little detail on everything that's going on this season? Absolutely. So while our parks might look a little bit different this year, we still needed to celebrate the Halloween season. And so we have our amazing pumpkin decorations all around here at Main Street. We have new food and beverage options, new entertainment options. And as I can see, you are in the spirit and we're letting our guests dress up this year here at Magic Kingdom. We're really excited about that this year. Okay, and then we have some characters and some uh, more entertainment off offerings as well? Exactly, so our cavalcades have been really popular since we reopened back in July. And so we knew we needed a new spin for the Halloween season. And so we have our Mickey Happy Halloween Cavalcade. We have a Villains Cavalcade. And we have a Jack Skellington Cavalcade that we're really excited for our guests to be able to see their favorite characters during the Halloween season. All right, I'm here with Julia, and she's going to tell us about the seasonal offerings that we have for fall in the Magic Kingdom. They look pretty good. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Um, so we're going to start off with the Mickey Cinnamon Roll. Um, you can find that at our Main Street Bakery. Um, the next one is going to be our Pumpkin Spice Waffle Sundae. So this is going to be pumpkin spice waffles, vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, and then salted caramel sauce. Um, down in the front, that is going to be our Poor Unfortunate Souls Float. So this is going to be found at Storybook Treats. It's going to be a cream cheese soft serve Coke, and then it's going to be topped with a little crown. Um, the next two offerings are actually going to be our pumpkin spice soft serve and our pumpkin spice milkshake. Um, both can be found at Annie Gravity's. Uh, the milkshake is going to be topped with whipped cream, some sprinkles, and then a Mickey marshmallow straw. One of our returning favorites, this one is actually going to be the not so poison apple cupcake, which you can find at Pinocchio's Village House. It's going to have an apple pie filling and a pecan crunch on the inside. Uh, returning from last year is our Constances for Better or Worse Wedding Cake. So this is going to be a citrus cake with raspberry filling and then it's going to have a white chocolate ganache. Um, and then down in front, um, so that's going to be our Headless Horseman Rides Again. So this is going to be new this year. Um, it is going to be a strawberry Dole Whip, strawberry Fanta, and then it's going to come with a Headless Horseman straw. And that one you can find over at uh, Sunshine Tree uh, Terrace. Um, over at Pecos Bills is going to be our Hades Nachos. It's going to be black bean chips, buffalo chicken, and then a spicy queso. And then at Cosmic Rays is where you'll find our Mickey Monster Mash Burger. So it's going to be a bacon cheeseburger with Munster cheese, potato barrels, and a sriracha aioli. And then we have our novelties. Um, so our Jack Zipper you can actually find through all of our quick service locations throughout the park. And then we do have the trio of hitchhiking ghosts. Um, the first one is actually going to be served with drop of uh, cinnamon donuts that you can find over at Pecos Bill. And you can find the sipper at Pecos Bill as well. And then we have our popcorn bucket that you can find at all of our popcorn buckets throughout the park. Um, we do have our Mickey popcorn bucket, which is returning, which is again available at all of our popcorn locations. And then we have our Oogie Boogie popcorn bucket. Um, this can actually be come with uh, churros as well. If you're looking for it with churros, it's going to be at our Main Street Castle hub carts, which are located on either side of the castle. Um, and then we have our Oogie Boogie Dice, which can be added on to any soft drink at any of our quick service locations as well. Marcella, she's going to show us some of the seasonal offerings for merchandise that they have. Hi there, thank you. I'm super excited to show you this year's Halloween assortment. Um, but not only is it Halloween, we have some a lot of fun uh, merchandise for Nightmare Before Christmas, Haunted Mansion, so everything that you need to have your spooky Halloween ready to go. So let's get started. This bones wreath, it's got Santa Jack, 
um, obviously as the main character, but the bones are all made out of felt. I'm loving it. It's so perfect for this time of year. So this is a new guy for us. Very, very excited about him. Yeah, and you can keep it up like through the through the Christmas Absolutely. season as well. Yep. I love the fact that he's got the Santa hat. So again, just has a little bit of life extension, if you will, after um, Halloween. The other guy that I'm very, very happy about is our Oogie Boogie baseball hat. So we did him um, not only in a baseball hat, it's just an easier wear, but it's got, it, he's done in his regular um, burlap type of fabrication. So it's very fitting to his character. I'm loving him. He's got a seriously spooky um, saying on the brim. The back um, has a little oh, yeah. hanging spider. So um, I think this guy's gonna be um, a winner for, for this season. <laughs> so, um, new characters, just things we haven't seen before. So this little plush guy is very fun. And then our Zero on a leash. Obviously he's been great and super popular for us, so we can't leave him behind. And then moving on to Haunted Mansion, we want to bring in kind of a fun and vibrant update and refresh to Haunted Mansion merchandise. So we've incorporated a little bit of, you know, a highlight pop of color to our regular um, crest type of uh, merchandise, as you see here and throughout some of these fun pieces. But also in some of the apparel yeah, like items, a lot. we wanted to give kind of a stylized um, look to our characters, kind of bring in some fun and some um, humor, if you will, do a little bit of play on words with our characters. So very excited about that. And then our muchly anticipated Halloween's, Halloween items. Um, we have some very fashionable apparel for the whole family to wear. We are also doing the adult and youth um, spirit jersey. We do so much with spirit jersey. So this year we kind of wanted to bling it up a little bit. Um, kind of do a little bit of glitter throughout. So very excited there. Um, we have our poison apple votive holder and then some fun blingy um, Mickey pumpkin totes. And then some of your regulars such as, you know, your candy um, bags, very, very cute. And then new this year is our um, light up Mickey pumpkin tote. So definitely something for you to stand out as you're doing your trick-or-treating throughout the park or at home. And then for our, for our little girls, we have this, this is new this year, this super cute light up tutu. Very, very cute. Um, so again, a little bit of something for everybody to wear, to have in your home, to kind of um, parade while you trick-or-treat. This cavalcade is so great. I was worried I wouldn't hear their song this year, but they did like a little mini booty you. It was great. As you can see, there is plenty to do here for the Halloween season. And if you want to do it, make sure you get out here by Halloween because that's the last day for all the festivities. Yeah.